I'm Steve for This Week With Cars, and today I'm back with one of my Barn Fine Sunbeam Tigers. In this car's first video, I showed you all three Barn Fine Tigers. And in that video, to get this car to run, I had to replace the carburetor. And once it was running, I put the stock wheels on with new tires. In the last video, I converted this car to run off an ultra capacitor and installed a battery charger. And I have virtually done no other work to it besides clean the mouse nests out of it. And the more I drive it, the better it runs. Today, I want to do some maintenance and repair some bad ideas that a previous owner had. The car is dripping some oil on the ground, but before I show you what the previous owner did, I need to drain the oil. Just like any car, drain the oil by taking the oil plug off. I like to push up on the plug while I am unscrewing it. That way it holds the oil in until you have it completely loose. So it's not running down your arm while you're unscrewing it. Now, after draining your oil, normally you would take your oil filter off so that you could replace it, but this car doesn't have one. The previous owner has just looped the output for the remote oil filter back to itself. Now, if this was done a really long time ago, I kind of can't blame them, but this is something you don't need to do today. The engine in this car is a 260 cubic inch Ford V8. They use this engine in a lot of vehicles, but the Sunbeam Tiger probably leaked more than the rest of them. In order to fit an oil filter in this engine bay, they came up with this remote oil filter adapter. Your filter would be right here, and you would have a hose that went down to the engine here. And you can see this is the same thing that's on the side of this engine, and they've just looped a hose between the inlet and outlet. So this remote oil filter adapter gave a lot of places for oil to leak. And if this hose went bad, back before the internet, it might be hard to find one to replace it. With the modern technology today, you can buy a tiny filter like this that will actually fit between the engine and the frame of the car. And we just need a little adapter like this so that we can screw it into the side of the engine. So I'm going to replace this mess, which has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine places that could leak oil with just this oil filter, which only has one place to leak oil. Well, there's another scary thing. This wasn't even that tight. This could have fallen off eventually. The hose, of course, would have kept it from spinning. To install the adapter, which goes this way into the engine, there is a hex on this side so you can tighten it into the engine. And I don't want it coming loose from the block, so I'm going to put some Loctite on it. Now I can screw it in. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now I've just dabbed a little bit of the new oil on my finger. I'll lubricate the O-ring so that it doesn't stick. Now tighten this on. As you can see, even on a car like this, there's plenty of room to get this filter in here. I'm sure they would have loved to have done this originally, but your filter had to be in a big can in order to work as good as this little one does. Here's what it looks like under the bonnet of the Sunbeam Tiger. And up here, right where the circular bracket is, that's where the original oil filter would go. So it's nice having this out of the way when you already have very little access to everything on the engine. I've put four quarts of oil in. Let's check the oil level now. The oil's up at the full mark, so let's start it up and then I'll top it off if needed. We can see the oil pressure coming up, so everything's good. That's going to be it for today. I have a restored Sunbeam Tiger, so this one, I'm just going to drive it and enjoy it. I'm going to leave it just like it is. When it breaks, I'll fix it, but at least now it shouldn't have any oil leaks. So if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.